my name is Pramila Majitya. Uh, I have lived in Canada for 38 years. Originally came from Kenya. My parents were of Indian background from Gujarat. And I was born and brought up in Kenya uh, during the British colony, when Kenya was a British colony. And uh, so I've lived in Kenya with both the British and then the African uh, Kenyan uh, government but the best of both cultures. Very free environment. We were sheltered to a degree but there were no fears of interacting with people. We could stay out till dusk and came home when the lights were lit in the house. But other than that it was open playground around the house. It was uh, very easy going at school mingling with friends of the same culture. I have uh, five brothers and two sisters who are younger to me. I'm the oldest of the girls. And of my five brothers, three are older to me. Then I was the only girl for the longest time. Another brother came along after me. I was spoiled. I got away with a lot of murder. I should say murder. I got, got away with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, naughty things. I wouldn't call them naughty naughty, but I, I got away with a lot because my grandparents were always taking my side. Being the only girl with, with three older brothers and one younger brother, I got away with a lot of pranks, especially as far as my grandfather was concerned. Um, I wasn't told off too much for little things that I did. Or silly things that I did. I would uh, sometimes hide under his bed uh, and uh, steal treats that he had hidden there for special occasions but I could get away with them. My brothers couldn't. I have believed that friends are, are your best support system, your network of uh, of a uh, support system in the community and I'm in touch with my school friends, I'm in touch with my college friends and the people I have worked with are my best friends even now. We get together for whatever reason, we find an excuse to get together, we share each other's concerns, we go out and have a fun time, eat out, go to movies, go to theater, go even bungee jumping, and walking on the clouds up in, in the trees. So doing fun things together, uh, tobogganing, going skiing, doing skating, all that has given me a lot of life outside of work and outside of bringing up my kids. And my friends are my lifeline. If I have any problems or concerns, I only a phone call away. They all rallied around me when, when I lost my husband 21 years ago. I couldn't have survived without my friends. Zip lining. I want to go zip lining with my friends. Oh, definitely. We were supposed to go, but one of my yeah. very close friends, she met with an accident and she's had a head injury. So we went walking on the clouds together in the Halliburton Forest. But the following year, we are supposed to go zip lining and haven't made that yet. I like to sew, I like to crochet, I like to do all kinds of crafts. But lately, I'm more and more into saving the environment. So I recycle everything. And with the help of my friends over the last five years, we're recycling milk bags to make mats. And lately, I'm making little pillows, sewing little pillowcases to send with each mat to sleep the children in the third world. I also like my gardening. I like cooking and I like eating of course, <laughs> so I love to experiment with food, but gardening takes up a lot of my hobby. And my favorite pet here, I've had pets throughout my life, but right now for the last 15 years I have Duke, who is my um, only companion in the house. The kids have moved away and I bought a little plaque that says, got rid of the kids because the cat was allergic. So that's my joke with the kids. But my children love her anyway, and, and my cat is a very spoiled and prominent member of my family.